Kids all over the Miami Valley will be going back to school very soon. Some districts start next week. Where did the summer go? But fun at recess can also lead to some serious injuries. Christian Hauser is live to show us what you need to tell your kids to keep them safe. Yeah, that's right, Deb. Uh, all the kids are familiar with the play sets that they might have at home. You know, the parents are usually out here to watch them and tell them, you know, what to be safe and not to climb on anything. But when they go to school, it's a lot more kids with a lot less supervision. And with that, uh, with those bigger play set or playgrounds that they'll be on, comes a much bigger increase for the chance of them getting hurt. Becky Ross is a mother of three and a preschool teacher. We talked with her while her son was playing. So I've seen a lot of broken arms off of monkey bars where kids are trying it before they can, so like I wouldn't let him go across the monkey bar until he successfully did it with me a few times. She knows how easy it is for kids to get hurt if they don't follow the rules. Because when he goes on things that aren't, he tends to break rules. Like if he's on the baby slide, to make it more exciting, he climbs on the outside of it or, or goes under it or goes up the wrong way. Today's playgrounds are leaps and bounds safer than they were even just a few years ago. But each year, still more than 200,000 kids end up in the ER because of playground injuries. 80% of those are because of falls. Matt Whalen designs playgrounds for a living. He says anything built now has much stricter safety standards to follow, like softer surfaces for kids to fall on, like this mulch or rubber. These newer surfaces are designed to absorb the impact of a falling kid based on the highest point in the playground. So parents, make sure your kids stay in areas designed for their age. Simply by ensuring that the child is playing on the age-appropriate play components, will significantly reduce the risk of um, serious injury. And make sure to teach them the proper way to use equipment. And now all the parents that I spoke with out there today in Oakwood, they all say that they do try to teach their kids what's appropriate for them and what's not, so that if they do get into a, a situation where they may be around some older kids, that they know to stay off some of the taller playground equipment just so that they don't fall. Reporting live, Christian Hauser, Fox45now.com. Nearly half of all playground injuries are broken bones, concussions, and dislocations. 75% of those injuries happen at public playgrounds like schools and daycares. Kids between the ages of 5 and 9 are most likely to end up in the ER. And get this, I was a little surprised by this. Girls are more likely to be hurt than boys.